Welcome to simplefinancesupport.com. Today I would like to cover the business partner in S4. I'll go over business partners, master data in R3, master data in S4 HANA, and also I would like to go over a small demo how to create a business partner in SAP. So if you think of um, any organization, when you're operating the business with them. So these organizations may be individuals or organizations or groups. So from the entity perspective, these individuals may be dealing with individuals or other organizations or groups. The same way groups may be dealing with other organizations and um, individuals as well so think of uh, any organization employees for example are natural persons and these en employees are also business partners because they are part of the business the same way suppliers small supplier may be an individual person or an organization or it may be a legal entity or conglomerations right or like in you know, a combinations of different uh, organizations so like that so you have pretty much natural person legal entities and combination of legal entities and if you think of all the legal entities are tax entities if you think of like taking from the employee to all the way to suppliers and customers you will have different types of entities or individuals dealing in any particular business organization. These organizations may be natural person such as employees or legal entities or you know government authorities or banks, stores, agents, obviously logistics point of view, suppliers and customers. So they do have different roles to play in a any business environment so these rules different rules are played by different individuals or entities and let's look at uh, how the master data in SAP R3 which is in a previous version before S4 is released how it used to be organized so master data used to be organized by like vendors customers Typically, all the suppliers and uh, all the customers are created with different addresses. And then uh, you need to create a general data for these entities or vendors or customers. And then uh, the specific data will be there uh, with these vendors and customers. It may be a company code data if it is related to the accounting and uh, purchasing data if it's related to procurement and sales area data if it's related to sales data so basically the the problems with this approach was that data redundancy for example if you are having a vendor and if the same vendor is also a customer so then you have to create the same vendor with two addresses like address may be the same but you have to create them as a vendor as well as a customer which here itself you can see the data redundancy and there used to be a lot of transaction meaning for example if I need to create a vendor I can create using XK01, XK02, XK03 for create, change and display same way if I need to create the same vendor at the company code level company code level I will use FK01, FK02, FK03 combinations and um, if I need to create the vendor at the purchasing I will use MK01, MK02, MK03 combination the same way customer XD01, FD01 and so on so forth so which means you need you you will have a lot of transaction multiple times and also you don't have role specific data for example if my vendor is also my employee then I don't have specific data which belongs to the same vendor 
uh, and also you know that when there is also an employee kind of information right so that that type of uh, information is not hosted uh, properly and also it is complex uh, meaning when you are dealing with different entities uh, as we have seen in the previous slide where you have many many different types of legal entities or natural persons are involving a business environment and you don't have a consistent way of maintaining the master data and there is no consistency for example the way you maintain the vendor may be different the way you organize the data around customers so there was no consistency to resolve all this sap came up with a simplification in sap s4 hana so that's what we are going to look at uh, in S4 HANA environment okay so in S4 HANA um, the entire data which is related to your partners which, which they are individuals organizations groups the entire data is organized based on the roles okay so the same individual may be a vendor or maybe a, a agent or authority supplier FI customer like the same individual can be a different can take a different role de depending upon what exactly is performing right so and then when you are creating uh, that role uh, based uh, specific data then you are eliminating uh, the redundancy and you are centralizing the creation of the vendor or customer and you will be using the single transaction which is bp as a transaction you will use the BP transaction to particularly create any kind of role that you have and pretty much simplified data model meaning whether you create customer, vendor, bank, agent, whatever you are creating whether it is a legal entity or you know individuals or groups uh, even like for example government tax office right government authorities maybe if it's a California, California tax authorities and the federal tax authorities like that, you know, different tax rules uh, you will have and create the same, uh, consistent in the same way. And the uh, role specific fields will be there. Like, you know, the moment you select a customer and customer related fields will show up. And the same way if you select a role for a guarantor, then, you know, guarantor role, which is played by that individual or our organization will host the data related to that role itself so this is the way um, s4 hana partners data is organized so and it is pretty much simplified and eliminated almost uh, 20 transactions and you will just use only single transaction which is bp okay and if you see uh, uh, the screen which is here like you can see uh, bp transaction that you can use to create a person like person organizations or group that uh, we just know i was talking about and then uh, based on that person then you know like the moment you create uh, or going to create then it will give you a list of roles to be created for that individual or that organization so that is the way you will create in another session uh, following session i would uh, go through how to create a particular business partner uh, but hopefully this is very clear for you um, the the way sap is changing the um, business role concept and calling it as a partner roles or business partner roles uh, that is a, also transaction code also like business partner bp thanks for watching this video and uh, please look out for SAP specific business partner creation uh, demo following this. Thanks for uh, watching and please visit uh, www.simplefinancesupport.com. Thank you.